Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC19 in Denver, Colorado, and today we're at the AMD booth with Derek Boyes. Derek, congratulations on Epic. Great uh, success so far, yeah? Yes, Epic has really been driving the industry for us. It's been fantastic. The, the acceleration of the Rome platforms and what people are putting on these systems, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Well, today we want to talk a little bit about software because uh, porting is a big deal for this audience. What's up with Rockham? I understand 3.0 is out? Yes, we were just launching 3.0 at uh, Supercomputing this year. And it's a big step up from last year's performance. So we've optimized a lot of the low-level libraries for math and communication for HPC applications. And today we're going to show a couple of demos of what those applications can enable. Okay. Okay, and I understand you got a reference platform here. What what is this? Yeah, so this is our AMD reference platform. It's a dual socket Rome Epic processors with eight MI50 Radeon Instinct GPUs. No PCIe switches, very fast interconnect and Infinity Fabric to connect the GPUs together. Okay, so what's the first demo? So the first demo here is with NAMD, it's a molecular dynamics simulation. Um, on the chart we're showing the comparison between a CPU only, CPUs with V100s and the Radeon Instinct reference platform here. And you can see that we're about 20% faster than the fastest Intel and NVIDIA solution today. Okay, what's the next one then? So the next one over here is LAMPS. So here we're comparing LAMPS against uh, just a CPU, but it's nicely already ported. It's available in public repositories. So we're really working with the community to open source the codes as much as possible and work, work to optimize as a whole community. And that's a widely used code in, in HPC, isn't it? Uh, for, for sure. Absolutely. Okay, and then the third one? Yeah, and then for the programming models, we have uh, OpenMP. So trying to highlight it, the 5.0 API, it's, it was it's reference spec last year at Supercomputing. We've implemented most of the functionality. People can start to use it. We have 4.5 today that's available to use in production, but the 5.0, it'll be a work in progress over the year. So that's going to help you get ready for that frontier supercomputer based on AMD process. For sure. Everything we're doing is driven with that as the end goal, to make everything exascale capable. Okay, Derek, what do we have here? So here we've got a bunch of demos based for machine learning, really trying to emphasize the availability of TensorFlow and PyTorch as our fully upstreamed stack, all built on Rockham. So on the top we have a PyTorch demo, it's Pac-Man doing a reinforcement learning. So it's the computer itself is learning how to play the game and over time it gets better and better and it, it works really well. It stresses, this kind of algorithm stresses both the CPU and GPU. So we're running this on our reference platform we talked about previously and we get great performance. Here we're showing the, the actual 4.0 PCIe Gen 4 uh, link speeds and you can see the comparison between a 3.1 server and a 4.0 server. So 10 gigabits per second to 28. Almost triple, wow. Okay. And over here we have uh, our demonstration of Raleigh which is an augmentation library for taking images and manipulating them to use in training solutions. And then down at the bottom, this is a Kubernetes demo. It's, do, uh, it's running 32 Kubernetes pods, just to prove that the ecosystem can scale. And this is all of our machine learning demos. Well, Derek, this is exciting to see your progress in such a short time. Congratulations on Frontier. And I look forward to hearing more from AMD. Thank you. Look forward to it. Thank you for your time.